I tanked every single NBA team to go for Victor Wembanyama, starting with injuring the star player, meaning 80 plus overall, like Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and many other stars. Donovan Mitchell's out for the season because he decided to become the real Spider-Man. Harding got suspended for ditching too many games to hang out at the club. Zion's exploring his career as a member of Food Network. LeBron went to go play baseball to chase Michael Jordan's legacy. Which team's gonna be lucky enough to land Victor Wembanyama? By the all-star break, looking at the NBA standings, the Atlanta Hawks are the first seed 40 and 19, which is completely insane because they don't have Trey Young or DeJounte Murray. Trey Young took this season off in order to become Waluigi, and DeJounte Murray got suspended for munching Palo Banquero on Instagram. While looking at the West, the Warriors are still the first seed, surprisingly. I mean, their starting lineup is pretty bad. Curry decided to test his passion for golfing. Jordan Poole got sucker punched by Draymond Green. And then you got San Antonio, who are actually supposed to be the front runners in real life for Victor, but not in this reality. As of right now, the Phoenix Suns are the front runners to get the first pick in the draft. I completely forgot that players under 80 would win MVP, being Andre Drummond, Paolo wins Rookie of the Year, Bones Highland wins six man. That's pretty reasonable. Drummond wins another award, Defensive Player of the Year. All right, it is that time for the draft lottery the thunder have the highest odds to land victor which would be just insane the number fourth pick does go to the miami heat interesting interesting it does look like the thunder are still on the board to get victor first is it gonna happen though they are projected to get third and they don't the wizards get third okay so they could very easily get scoop if uh, he didn't manage to fall to third somehow the second pick goes to the thunder so he's gonna probably go to the Utah Jazz that is a terrible terrible thing to happen I would retire if I ever got drafted to the Jazz draft night the night every young kid dreams of getting drafted to the NBA the Jazz are on the clock and they are going to draft Victor no I don't want to do this now I have to simulate every season until he wins a championship with the Jazz but first Let's see where Scoot ends up going as well. Uh, Scoot goes to Miami. Okay, yeah, this is rough. LeBron came back from his venture as a baseball player, trying to chase Michael Jordan's legacy. Now that AD is healthy once again, along with all these other players being back from injury, vacation, their hangovers, whatever it might have been, can Victor use his talents to bring the Jazz their first championship? The Jazz got Carson Wallace, Ochai Abaji, Dylan Mitchell, Miles Bridges. I did not put him on the roster. Don't flame me in the comments. I did not do this. This was all simulated every offseason move like kuzma coming back to utah which is where he went to college uh now he's back and surprise surprise luca wins mvp once again victor rookie of the year that's a good start mcdonald's all american cam whitmore wins six man of the year uh Giannis defensive player of the year jacob wins most improved did we make the playoffs i oh we're the sixth seed okay let's go game by game and if we can if we can win this in the first year i would be really happy pelicans take game two we take game one we take game three the pelicans win game four we win game five i'm gonna have to hop in simcast and uh and see what's about to happen it looks like the pelicans are running away with it the jazz cannot keep up yep they're uh they're cooked lost by 30 what happened victor's injured what how are we supposed to win if our star player is injured come on bro that's really the concern with him in real life if he ever gets injured because he's too tall and lengthy and not enough weight on him we're headed to game seven i don't know what's about to go down or we're about to find out game seven victor and clarkson are injured we take the lead oh my god we're ahead no they come back no wait it's so close wait hold on let me uh let me calm it down a little bit six minutes left five no why is it so close why is it so close there's no way victor's on the court while he's injured that's actually insane stuff i mean but then again the jazz need to do literally everything they can to try and win this game hit victor victor go up oh my god he's insane even when he's injured what am I watching? This guy is literally the next LeBron. He has as much hype as LeBron had coming into the league. And he's 7'5 or 7'2, whatever he is. He's still insane. Zion ran over Jared Vanderbilt. But Victor coming down with the rebound. Bringing up the ball. Victor! Victor Wembanyama yams it. What am I watching? This is insane. 122, 118. This is insane basketball right here. Block that. CJ hits the shot. 38 seconds. Carson Wallace, you just gotta, you know, dish it down to 
to Victor. Big boy in the paint. Oh my god, he's insane. This is an 82 overall, by the way. This is an 82 overall working like this. This is nuts. All right, four point lead. Game seven of the first round. I think this is probably the farthest the Jazz would ever go in today's era. Please play some defense. I'm really not trying to lose. Oh yeah, Norman. Look at Norman. Yep, good D. Board. What? He hit that. Interesting. All right, uh, Carson Wallace headed to the free throw line, trying to put the game away for the Utah Jazz, trying to send them into the second round of the 2023 playoffs. Please hit this, Carson. We literally need that. Thank you. He greens the free throw. They have no timeouts, to my knowledge. Not that I can see. I don't think they do. 13 seconds left. You just got to play the de best defense of your life. Miles Bridges, great D. He misses. Norman Powell comes down with the rebound. We just got to shoot these free throws, secure the game, and we move on to the second round and there we have it the utah jazz have beat the first round they beat the new orleans pelicans in game seven 120 to 122 victor's happy i'm happy let's go get him this ring after beating the pelicans in the second round we then moved on to face the oklahoma city thunder who had different plans for us game three to utah on uh, these series have been going back and forth they win game four one more win and we move on uh-oh are the jazz about to choke a 3-1 lead and oh my god it actually might happen this is the second game seven of this uh video right here please utah please utah i've never wanted to root for utah more than in this video please please we please no okay see you have a future ahead of you i don't want to simulate more with the jazz they suck good d carson wow it's a three point game please don't lose someone hit a three do something honestly dish it down to victor maybe he can get an and one i don't know why Carson Wallace is taking that shot with the game on the line. Victor Wembanyama with the rebound. Oh my god. Things are getting crazy. Please get a stop. Please. 30 seconds left. All I can do is give up a two. He takes that shot. He misses. Victor coming down with the rebound. Victor bringing up the ball. Carson Wallace. The game is in your hands. You're the point guard. You gotta facilitate correctly. Set that screen, Victor. If you take that shot and not Victor. Victor with the game on the line. Two misses no he misses the shot and he fouls out what is going on i don't know what i'm watching he fouled out no way man there's literally no way all right this is the moment where legends are made this is a victor wembanyama career sim but he's not even in the lineup right now oh try no you smoked it he's actually a good shooter no way he smoked that we basically lost him to the end after that heartbreaking loss of the thunder we ended up facing them in the second round once again several years later all right so we're playing the clippers victor's going crazy castleberry and Knox as well i really hope we at least make the finals at this point because this is probably going to honestly be the last dance for victor Wembanyama in this career simulation and we do end up winning in seven we are playing against the okc thunder please i just want to beat the thunder bro like i don't know what's going on man this team is so good i genuinely don't think victor is going to win a ring but little did i know that victor wembanyana's time to shine would be very soon in 2040 we finally made it to the finals uh, you know it wasn't necessarily the ending i expected but we finally made it to the finals we're gonna play the winner of the pacers or the magic we are playing the orlando magic who have a pretty bad team is this the year that we can finally win a championship for victor wembanyama victor ended up going crazy in the first three games of the series which led to this moment game three goes to utah please please come on victor 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 Wembanyama. please win yourself that championship please go ahead and do it hit the ball to victor he's literally your mvp i don't know what y'all are doing bender goes up with the contact layup and he scores four points away from victor Wembanyama winning his first nba championship oh my god what a stop victor victor Wembanyama with the rebound off the glass what a cross victor trying to iso even though he has gatorade you gotta dish that ball off my boy for three he smoked it what am i watching that's good d victor on the glass come on four points victor you gotta pass that ball bro i get you're a you know point guard in real life kind of because you're bringing up the ball but um you gotta just gotta just dish it off man you gotta score right here get your teammates to score victor layup wait two points away two points away from victor Wembanyama winning his first championship in so many years 
I can't emphasize this enough. He only has 10 and 10, which is fine, but if we can get him this ring, that's definitely going to be a memorable ring for Victor Wembanyama. Five seconds left. Victor with the game on the line. He smoked it. All right, man. This is the moment. Stefan Castleberry. You just got to dish it off to the man with... Oh, he's off the court. This is not very ideal. How did this happen? He hits the three. The Utah Jazz finally win the NBA championship. Victor Wembanyama is jumping for joy. And there it is. Victor finally wins his finals MVP. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the one on the screen.